So we were praying and Alicia was with us that day and she opened up her Bible and, and it was uh, opened it up at the book of Joshua. And God said to Joshua, wherever you lay the sole of your feet, I will deliver. So we prayed that and we said, well, like, our feet are here at place of death. And we pray that this place will be delivered and that this place will close. And um, so we all got together and we started to pray. And as we were praying, many of the staff in the abortion clinic, because we, were, we had an Irish accent, and they, were, they had come over. It was a very small place, but it did late-term abortions as well. And abortionists flew in to do late-term term abortions. And it was a very distressing place to be outside. And, you know, we'd never want to see that here, ever, ever. Um, to know that you're standing somewhere where little babies are being poisoned, dismembered, um, and, and some of them uh, being born alive, those who, um, who would have their pregnancy, the mothers who would have their pregnancies induced, and those babies would be left to die, to die or, ex or removed and experimented on. So anyway, they started to share with us how they were beginning to have a change of heart. They started to feel... And it, it was, I mean, it was just because we were there that day that they shared with us, but that was because of the amount of prayer that was being said. So that was okay. We felt, oh, well, maybe we've, we've done something good being here today. Um, a number of months later, when we came home, um, Pastor Ed rang, rang me one night and he said, you know, Bernie, that abortion clinic, a massive storm happened in, it was in um, Florida, a massive storm came over that whole area and uh, the tree across from the abortion clinic was uprooted and fell over into the abortion clinic and was left lying on top of the abortion table. The place literally was, it, it, it was condemned. It's, it was no longer able to be uh, an abortion clinic. It was um, desecrated in a sense. Um, and he, we, we claimed that scripture, we said, you know, we should continue to use that in everything we do, claiming God's word over every situation. And what, what I'm referring to today is what Paul had says. For five years, we prayed outside Murray Stopes. Um, many, many people made many sacrifices and there was much persecution on people who came there. Um, and especially the ones like myself and others who were threatened and taken to court. But we knew that if we kept our focus on Jesus himself, and God also says to Joshua, don't look to the left or the right look to me and if we can do that as people here at this time in, in northern ireland if we can keep looking to god and believing that he is all powerful and he can do things that ultimately we could never do and at this moment in time we're believing that the family planning association is closed also we've been praying outside that center for 20 years between university street and great up the top of great victoria street and to our knowledge and going by what we can read on the, the media it is, um, is now closed um, and it has went out of business. So we just have to keep claiming and praying that what we can't do, God can do. But we're laying our feet here today. We're laying our feet, the feet that God has given us to be his feet, his hands, his voice, his mind in this movement to stop the murder of innocent unborn children and to safeguard our women here by offering them alternatives through Stanton Healthcare. So, Thank you for coming here today. We know that God is a God of miracles. We know that prayer works. With prayer, we can do all things. So we'll keep claiming that. We'll keep believing that. And uh, from time to time, we will continue to do these events when we can. And if there's only two or three gathered and two or three people can come, we don't care. We'll keep doing it. So thank you for coming. Um, bless Journeys Home. And God bless you all. <laughs> thank you.